All right. Thank All right. Thanks for everyone for calling in. Um, welcome to DLS 105, Risk Tools and Calculations for Risk Assessments. Uh, my name is Damon Amlung. I'm a senior geotech with the Army Corps of Engineers Risk Management Center, and I will be your instructor for the course. I'm looking forward to getting to meet all of you, albeit virtually throughout this training. And as I go through this introductory presentation for the course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask or type it out in the chat. Uh, I'll be sure to check the chat at the very end and we'll get those questions answered. Um, with that, let's get started. So this virtual training course is gonna provide the pertinent background information related to risk calculation tools that we use to perform semi-quantitative and quantitative risk assessments for dam and levee safety. Uh, once you've completed this course, uh, you should have a basic understanding of uh, the principles of probability and statistics. Uh, you're going to learn how to perform all the necessary calculations for both semi-quantitative and quantitative risk assessments. This includes several exercises and homeworks, and they're designed to provide you with some hands-on experience to work on applying those concepts and uh, using the tools. This course, however, is not going to teach you everything you need to know to perform a risk estimate. Um, as such, we're not going to cover how to generate hazard curves or how to do a potential failure mode analysis. And it's not going to cover, you know, the specifics of things like team estimation or estimating probabilities. Um, those kind of topics are covered in DLS 104 uh, best practices and throughout many of the other excellent training courses that are provided by the RMC. This course, DLS 105, it is all about how to perform the risk calculations after all the other things I've mentioned have already been completed. So we'll touch on them briefly as kind of an overview, but our primary focus is risk calculations and how to do them. This course is broken up into seven different modules all of which will take place online. Uh, module one will cover uh, the basic elements of probability theory and event tree analysis. Module two is gonna be calculating and, and portraying risk. That'll get into all the different pieces and things that we calculate for a risk assessment, your annual probability of failure, average annual life loss, things like that. And then in module three, we're gonna go through uh, a bunch of different risk calculation examples and talk about things like you know, how do the calculations change when we are factoring in gate and operability or debris blockage or um, if we have a seismic failure mode where we have a coincident um, uh, hazard that we have to account for. Um, when we get to module four, we'll be looking at uncertainty evaluation and portrayal. And then module five and module six will cover some of the spreadsheet tools and software that we have to help us with these risk calcs. So module five will be RMC QRA calcs, and then module six will be RMC total risk, which should be released by the time we get there. If not, I'll ha I have draft versions of the software that I can share. And then finally, to wrap everything up, module seven is gonna cover semi-quantitative risk assessments, and we'll demonstrate how to use the RMC SQRA calcs tool. So with each module, it's going to consist of a pre-recorded presentation that you're going to watch first that will be followed up with by a uh, live question and answer session. So these pre-recorded presentations are going to be anywhere from an hour to two hours long, and you'll have two to three weeks to get through the video for a given module, depending on the schedule. I've tried to put more time uh, with the modules that are, I guess, more dense compared to the others, so some have three weeks in between and some have two weeks. Um, while you're certainly welcome to watch the entire video all at once, if it were me, I would recommend kind of splitting them up and watching parts, as a, parts at a time. Uh, there's a lot of information that's built into these videos, so I think splitting them up will help you better retain what you watch. And the other advantage to having the video handy there is if you know, the first time you watch something, something doesn't make sense or isn't quite clear, you can always go back and rewatch and see if it makes more sense the second time through. So for this course, you're going to have a couple programs that you're going to need. 
and you're going to also need to download some spreadsheet tools from the RMC website. First and foremost, everybody is going to need a working copy of Microsoft Excel and the ability to enable macros. And then second, you see a list there. There's several tools that are going to come from the RMC website, uh, the event combination toolbox, joint loading probabilities, and SQR calcs. Those are all under the risk calculation suite, while QRA calcs and total risk will have their own pages on the RMC software page. One important point, at the RMC, we're always continually working to try to improve these tools. So new versions come out here and there. So I recommend that you wait until the course asks you to download something and then download a new version from the website when the tool is required by module, just to make sure that you have the most up-to-date version in case things are change over the um, few months that we are uh, working through this training. Um, Lastly, it's also preferred that you have a version of Palisades at risk uh, for modules four and five. This is a commercial software that we use. Um, we use it for more than just risk calculations. It's, there's at risk features built into a lot of the other different toolbox we have on our website. If you don't have that software and don't want to purchase it, you can try to download a 15 day free trial from their website. Um, some people have had success, other people have had trouble with getting them to respond. They ask you why you need the software and things like that. Um, if you're able to get that copy and you manage your time right, that 15 days can be enough for you to complete your work, kind of giving you a week at the tail end of module four and then another week at the very beginning of module five. So if you opt to go that route, please don't install it until I tell you because the clock for that free trial will start the moment you download it and you don't want it to expire before you need it. If you uh, work for the Army Corps of Engineers, you can try to download the program from the app portal. I'll warn all of you now that many people in the past have unfortunately trying to have struggled trying to get this program installed. And from some of the feedback I've already received, that still appears to be the case. So because of this, I've got workaround options for those who cannot obtain a copy of At-Risk. So if you run into any trouble, please let me know and I'll try to help where I can, but know that you can get along fine without the software if worse comes to worse. All right, so as most are probably aware, everything you need for this course can be accessed through the RMC website. That's www.rmc usace.army.mil, and then at the top you can click training and then fundamental training courses. And there you will see the uh, mark for DLS 105 and you can click the plus sign to get the course links. And there'll be links to the participant workbook, the course videos on YouTube, PDFs of the presentation slides and the transcripts, and then also the homework and exercise files. The participant workbook will give you all the information you need for the course, including the training agenda, course instructions, uh, the webinar information for office hours, and for the live Q&A sessions. Also have links to the course materials, Socrative login instructions, and then my contact information. Um, there were some recent tweaks to the workbook with the homework schedule that went out, um, I think, earlier today. So you get an extra day on your homework. So I recommend downloading a fresh copy of that participant workbook. If you were kind of ahead of the game and downloaded it earlier this morning. Uh, the pre-recorded presentations for each model will, module will be uploaded to YouTube. Um, module one is up there now and um, all the live Q&A and this presentation, stuff like that, those are all going to be recorded as well and will be uh, placed on YouTube at the same spot. Um, like I mentioned previously, we've got links to the presentations on the website. We've got PDFs of these slides and the transcripts to help you follow along. So each module is going to include a homework assignment to be completed at the end. Uh, the spreadsheets for each homework assignment 
It'll include tabs for the exercises that are covered during the module, and that'll get posted to the website. Um, once you complete the homework, please email it to rmctraining at usace.army.mil, and please use DLS 105 comma homework and then the module number for the subject to help us keep track of the submittals. We've got a rule that'll pull them all into a folder so it makes it easier for us to keep track of things. Uh, the due dates for the homework can be found in the agenda, and that's in the participant workbook, but it'll always be the day before the module's live Q&A session. Basically, the, the homework, and I'll get to the quizzes next, but the homework and quizzes are basically how we're tracking participation and making sure that you're completing the work that you need to complete. I will hold office hours the week before homework is due. So please see the course schedule. Once again, that's in the participant workbook. Office hours is gonna be a good opportunity for you to get some one-on-one -on -one help regarding the exercises and the assigned homework. So in the past, I've heard a couple stories of some participants spinning their wheels for several hours on a homework assignment. The homework is not supposed to be tricky or any more difficult than it needs to be, so please don't spend that much time on the homework. Anything more than, say, an hour or so is going to be too much. So if you get stuck, please ask for help, and we'll point you in the right direction. The homework is really supposed to help you learn and to get you some hands-on experience. It's, it's not supposed to be a significant burden, so if it starts to, if the time starts to tick and, you, again, you're more than an hour into it, please, please ask for help and we'll get that, get you pointed in the right direction. And then a live question and answer session is gonna be conducted via webinar to conclude each module. So this is where I'll go through the solutions for the homework assignment. And then after that, the rest of the time will be just dedicated to answering any questions from the participants. So all these sessions are gonna start at uh, noon Eastern time, and I've got it scheduled up to two hours, but, you know, whether we go an hour or two or whatever depends on the number of questions we have. If you happen to have a conflict and cannot participate in the live session, that's okay. The recordings will be posted to the website with the other course videos. And then we're going to follow up each of these live sessions with a short quiz on Socrative. So you'll be asked to go to www.socrative.com. And then when you get there, you'll click on the blue login button at the top right and then choose student login. Um, from there, you'll be asked for a room number for the quiz. And that's in your participant workbook. The room name will always be DLS 105R and then the number of the module. So after you've input the room name, you'll click join and then it'll prompt you to enter your name, last name, then first, then you'll click done and you'll get admitted into the quiz. So these quizzes, they're basically just a learning check whether you get, you will get credit for the quiz, whether you get them all right, all wrong, or something in between. Um, I'll tell you now though, that a lot of these quiz questions may appear again on the final exam at the end of the course. And if not exactly the same question, questions that are very similar. Um, also the quizzes are used to give credit for participation in a live Q&A session. So during that session, and it, it could be any time during that session, I will give you a buzzword for you to write down or remember. That's proof to me that you either participated live or you watched the entire video. So the first question of every quiz will be to identify that correct buzzword so that we can give you credit for completing the module. So you only get really get one shot at it, so make sure that you pay attention during the session. And you don't miss the buzzword. Um, with regards to the quiz, you'll have uh, a couple weeks to complete the quiz following the live session. And then um, the very next live session, we'll go over the, the solutions to that quiz. Uh, for course credit, uh, we're offering 30 uh, PDH hours. Um, we're gonna be available for completing the course. Your course credit's gonna be determined by uh, completion of the homework assignments at the end of each session. 
completion of the quizzes at the end of the live Q&A session and making sure we get that buzzword right, and then passing the multiple choice exam at the end of the course. So multiple choice exam, I think it's anywhere from 20 to 25 questions. Um, passing grade is gonna be 75% um, and partial credit for this course is um, not going to be offered. So we're, we ask that everybody complete everything from start to finish. All right, so that completes my introduction to DLS 105. Any questions? Hey, Damon, Troy Gilbert from Walla Walla District. Um, the yeah. so, the the site with the where the quizzes and such will be um has that been vetted with the new cbbi security stuff that we are dealing with now over um no sir since that just <laughs> happened with, with just the last, last week few days. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay we're 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 discovering a lot of things don't work quite the way they used to and so I just wanted to check on that. Yeah, no, I, I understand completely and I share your pain. Um, yeah. I will double check as soon as we sign off. Okay. And if it is, we'll, we'll do something different, but if not, we'll continue as planned. How's that sound? It so sounds good. My, my, my backup plan is use my personal computer and make it work. So, right. yep. Very Thank good. you. Good question. Hey, this is Matt Steffen from Portland District. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Hey, thanks for the info. The uh, the buzzword I was just, I, I missed, is that on going to be on the pre-recorded presentations or during the live QA sessions? It'll be during the live Q&A, and I'll be very explicit when I'm giving the word to you. I'll say, uh, I'm making up a word here. I'll say the buzzword is questions for the for this week, and then that it'll show up on the recorded video too. So it's just to make sure that, you know, we're not just going straight to the quiz and that we are watching that and making sure that we understand, you know, both the solution to uh, the prior homework. And then it's also helpful because you get the solutions to uh, the quiz that you took for the module prior. So having that for the final exam would be good. But short answer is it, it will be live and then on the recording of the live q a right. yeah thank you very much mm -hmm. good morning ali paul mohawit sacramento district uh i would like to know if the modules will be incrementally posted or they are all available they will be incrementally posted. Thank you. And we, we, we might post some things a little in advance of when we say in the workbook, but they will certainly be up by um, the dates that we have there in the agenda. Everything kind of builds from one module to the next, so don't want to get anybody get too far ahead. So that's why we piece it out like that. Thank you. And I also say that the reason that we offer so much time in between the modules, it's not just to make this course go from January into July or June or whatever it is, but it's we understand that everybody's busy and you know you're taking this training and doing this work in addition to all the other, you know, responsibilities that you have for your real job. So it's trying to give everybody enough time to get through stuff um, without it being too much of a burden. And I also stand, understand that things come up. So if, if you're gonna be late on a deadline or a homework or the quiz or whatever, just, just let me know. We're, I'm pretty flexible and be able to work around a lot of stuff like that. Anyone else?
Well, if any other questions come up after we sign off, feel free to email me or call me and be happy to answer them then. Um, last thing I will say about this course, I mean, it is a entry level course with, um, I guess, no prerequisites, but some of this stuff can be, I guess, a little confusing if you're not familiar with the risk assessment process and terms. So again, you know, keep working through it. It'll start making sense the more and more you do it. I'm a firm believer that with risk calculations and things like that, it's, it's the kind of thing that you only truly learn by doing. So a lot of these modules will have examples that we, you know, work through start to finish. I highly recommend that you follow along and try to recreate what we're doing as we're presenting it. And that'll get you um, ready for the homework. We don't ask you to do anything that we don't show you how to do before you get there. So, but if no one has any other questions, I appreciate everybody calling in and looking forward to going through this course with you and I guess meeting you guys virtually over the course of the course. Thanks, David.